What's up guys, it's IFBB Pro Bodybuilder Patrick Moore here. And today, I'm gonna take you guys through a full day of eating. All right guys, so this is meal one, 370 grams of egg whites, just basic salt and pepper on that, and a cup of oatmeal, and it's just a basic Quaker oats. Put some Splenda cinnamon on there. That's it, this is pretty basic. Enough to get the job done. It's crazy. You know, a lot of people think like we just get in the gym, then we just lift and take a bunch of crap or do whatever they think. And we just grow this, grow muscle to get bigger. We, it's, it's a lot of discipline, it's a lot of mental stress to do this. Like I said, especially if you're working like me, and this is a little food. I mean, this, I've been sitting here like a minute and a half and it's pretty much gone. And this has to sustain me uh, through a workout, through training three clients, um, and I don't have a choice uh, if I want to succeed. So, you know, it's, it's a tough sport. It really is because the most basic thing that a human wants to do is feed. You want to eat. You want to be able to drink what you want. And uh, those types of freedoms get taken away you know, when you're bodybuilding. So that's part of the sacrifice you hear guys talk about. It's like, what are you sacrificing? Well, day to day, I can't do what I want. It's like you're out here and you have all these great places to eat, all this different stuff you can do, and everyone's doing it. And you're running around with to-go containers and oh, I can't eat that, I can't eat this. And <laughs> so it's, it's pretty crazy. It takes a special person to do this sport. Let's go 50. I'm trying to gauge the weight so there's nothing crazy. This is meal two for the day. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy. It's just your basic chicken and rice. So we're doing 10 ounces of chicken and one cup of rice. As you can see, the Mrs. Dash seasoning on here. It's a basic white jasmine rice. Um, this is job done. I mean, it's not your burger or pizza and stuff, but we're eating for a result. So keep that in mind when you're doing your meals. You're not eating for the taste. You're eating so you can build that body that you want. This is gonna be meal three, so this is post-workout. Uh, it's gonna be similar to meal two, sometimes it changes up. Uh, but this is gonna be the same. This is gonna be the chicken and rice. A little bit more of the same. Sometimes this can be beef and rice, it just depends. You learn to keep some plastic wear on you when you're on a move all the time. Pretty much going from training to eat, back to work. This is gonna be 10 ounces of chicken, once again. And with this, I know you guys are probably like, man, is he gonna eat that cold? The answer is yes, because I just don't have time to sit around and, and wait till I get to a microwave. I'm just pressed for time, and it doesn't really matter because I'm not eating for a flavor or taste. I'm just eating to get it down. I need to refuel after that workout, so. So this is gonna be meal four for today. This is the meal that I usually have when I'm training clients uh, here in the evening, afternoon time. Gotta kinda stop in between and have that short little break to get my food in. Uh, I don't have the luxury of just eating when I want. It will be nice. So today it's just, because we had the high day yesterday, we're back to a lower carb plan today. 
and so it's just 10 ounces of chicken and one cup of rice so it's not a lot of food you know the thing with the lower plan is you're consistently hungry not starving uh because you know i keep the mental check and balance because that's what you have to do because you know you're only going to get a certain amount of food so if you can be mentally strong and know that you have to do the best with that one meal then it's fine uh you just can't Think about cravings and wanting other stuff. You gotta eat what's on the plan and only what's on the plan. Microwave minutes are the slowest minutes literally ever. I've, I've never seen a minute and a half, two minutes go by so slow. Only when you're ready to eat. Oh, finally. You know what's the worst sometimes when you wait all that time and you pull the food out? and it's still cold, that sucks. You gotta put it back in there and wait even longer. <laughs> it's like a little game of torture. Put a little salt on there. I always use this Himalayan pink salt. And I'm weird, I usually like higher chairs, so here I usually stand up and eat only because that's just how I am. I don't like to sit down on a low couch. Diet root beer, you know what's funny? I used to hate diet soda. Then you start bodybuilding and you become a fan. Only way to kill like little cravings. Oh, that's refreshing. Salt meal five is tilapia. It's just your normal white fish. Some people will do cod or orange roughy or something like that. I like the tilapia just because it's for one, it's cost effective. Well, that's the big thing. And it's just easy to get down, it's really light. But right now I'm just eating 10 ounces cooked. I'm cooking in the oven literally in nine minutes. Put on 450. So this is a routine for me every night. I can't, I can eat chicken, heat it up. I can eat beef, all that. Fish, negative. When it's reheated, I can't stand it. It's just gross. So good thing it's towards the evening. Now I don't have to worry about that. I can, I have time when I get home to make it. 10 ounces is usually about three of them. Uh, sometimes you may come up a little short. I improvise with that. Full on there. I'll show you guys what my, my favorite pastime is. Probably a lot of guys. This is the man cave. So you guys know I'm a PlayStation 4 guy. And right now, I think we're all playing Call of Duty. So I would give you guys my tag name, but I don't want y'all trying to come and commit suicide when you're trying to play me because I play on expert level. So that's pretty cool. I'll do that while I'm waiting on the food. And oh. Need to move this. This is pretty cool. I actually got this when I won to California State. And it's like this really cool ninja blade. And it's actually like really, really sharp. So it's pretty cool. And so I put like my little trophies and stuff like that. Eventually I'll this room will have tons of stuff in it. Well, as long as I'm living here, we'll probably end up moving. But you know, this is where I just come in and hang out. If I don't want to be bothered by anybody. I can honestly play that game for hours, dude. Like, you know, it's one of those things like you'll say, oh, one more game. I'm just play one more and then that's it. And then you get to where you almost have like the best kill death ratio or you smoke everybody and you get first place. It's bad luck if I turn it off and I don't get first place. So I got a plan until I get first place. And I get first place pretty often, but you know, if I don't like, like I said, my kill death ratio is not that great, then I'll I'll keep playing. I mean I don't have anything else to do, especially when I'm in prep. So that's how I can go anywhere and do something fun. So I just play games and get on the internet and talk crap to kids and whoever's playing. 
So it's done, nine minutes. And this meal is not that fun because there are no carbs. That's okay though, because that's part of my current program. I'll just use this sugar-free barbecue sauce on it. So 875, 870. This happens sometimes because, you know, the tilapia is frozen. So you're not gonna, sometimes you don't get the exact amount. So 870 on there. And just to improvise, like I said, you have a couple options. You can do some tuna, turkey, something that is as lean as fish. Or what I like to do is, I like chicken. So I'll just get some chicken that amounts to that weight. So 965. So 10, 10 ounces, 10, 10, right there, perfect. So just take that. <laughs> as you can see, that's not a lot. You gotta improvise, I'm telling you, man. It's like, it happens. Put that on 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Dump that in. And the macros, all you see is 10 calories, two grams of carbohydrates. I mean, you know, you get a little sodium in it, but that's it, it's perfect. So I could have veg vegetables with this if I want it, but I'm not a big vegetable eater. final meal for the evening. It's nothing crazy. It's just a protein shake. We're gonna do 50 grams of whey. And this is just before bed. There have been times where I've had like solid meals before bed, but right now, this is the way the plan is. So, and it's quick, it's easy. If I'm laying down relaxing and I have to get up, it's easy to just come slam this really quick. All right, guys, so that pretty much wraps it up for my full day of eating. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe below.